what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to backdate your facebook post using safari on iphone all right so what i'm going to do is to log into my facebook account so make sure you log into your facebook account using iphone safari browser all right so when you log into your um account you can let's you know shake out my facebook account you can see I actually have no post so let me make a post all right let's get to home and then let me make a post all right let me use this picture for example and then let me add it all right let me just you know let me just post it All right, as you guys can see, I have created this post. So for you to backdate your Facebook post through Safari for iPhone, it is very, very simple. What we're gonna do is to go over to our profile. So tap here, and then you tap this other side. And then when you get to your profile, refresh it because we just made a post. So you can see the post I made recently. All right, so to backdate it now, what we're gonna do is to open up our settings. All right, so you scroll down to Safari from your settings. So now you got to scroll down and then click on request desktop website. So click on that and then toggle this button on. All right, so when you toggle the button on, you go straight to your Facebook and the next thing you're going to do is to refresh your Facebook. All right, so refresh your Facebook. So after you had, you know, refresh your Facebook, next thing you're going to do from here is to tap on this facebook.com and then you're going to tap on this m.facebook.com just tap on it just make sure you keep this cursor around this m all right so what you're going to be changing from here is the m so when you get to the end just change the m to www and then you go All right, so our Facebook has been switched to a desktop site view. So you can still see that we have the post right in here. So to backdate it, just click on this three dots. And then from here, you're going to see edit date. So when you tap on that, you can see I made this post on August 22. So let's minimize. Let me show you. This is August 22. All right, so let's change the date. I'll change the date to, um, okay, let's just change the month. Okay, let me keep it in January. All right, let's change the year. The year is copy. Okay, let's tap here to change the year. Let me say 220, all right? 220, all right? So you can, you can also decide to change the time, okay? But I don't have anything to do with the time. So you can just click on done after changing the date, August 22, 220. Or you can, I, actually the thing went back. So let's go back to the January, the January 220. Sorry for the this thing. January 220. Now we I won't be this now. Okay, let's just say August 2.20. Meanwhile, I'm making this video in 2024, all right? So let's click on done. So let, let me refresh it and for you guys to see. All right, so let's still go down. And you can see I have backdated the post. This is August 22, um, 2020. You can see. Let's try and change this August 22. edit date like i said okay let me just say um okay maybe you want if you want to change the date you can just type it in i think it's better like that just type it in so i'll remove the 22 and i'll keep it on first january all right so i'll click on done and that's it that's it let's still refresh it and you know And you can see i got it so 
like and subscribe if you enjoy watching my videos so that's it make sure you subscribe tell me the kind of video you want me to make for you i'm gonna make that for you guys so thanks for watching and that will be all for now and i will say peace out